Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I figured I would do a fashion haul for you all. It's pretty much just Abercrombie and Aritzia, not pretty much, it literally is just Abercrombie and Aritzia. Um, but recently I've been more so into investing in investment pieces that are gonna last me a really long time, that are good quality. There are some trendy pieces um, in here, but really I focused on the absolute basics and then some cute tops, random things that I just thought I would really like. And I've kind of moved away from buying into fast fashion. I do still love it, but nevertheless, it's not very sustainable. And then if you wash it more than five times, it's falling apart and you're like, wow, I literally waste my money. So uh, the majority of the time, if you ask me where I got something, it's either from H&M, Abercrombie, and now it's gonna be from Aritzia because unfortunately, I did fall in love with their clothes. I'm sorry if you came here to, you know, be like me and be like, I don't wanna buy from Aritzia, it's so expensive. I'm fully aware, I'm fully aware. But I did find some really good pieces and some aren't that expensive. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, I forgot to mention everything that I'll be talking about will be um, linked in the description box below as well as my size that I purchased it in. And if it's sold out, I'll link something similar or I'll link the link to that item um, so you guys can like sign up to be on a wait list or something like that. Um, I picked these specific stores because these, these items are so high quality. I have a million and ten of these t-shirts from Abercrombie. Um, they're usually, I think, like $30, but then someone's coming up my driveway. Who is it? It's the gas man. Um, anyways, sometimes you can find them on clearance for like $15. They don't shrink. They're going to stay the same literally forever. Um, they're just really high quality pieces. So this first piece is actually from the Abercrombie Men's Collection. This is the, just like a regular t-shirt, like what they call a classic tee uh, or a graphic tee. I got mine in a size small. This is what it looks like untucked. It's pretty long. I don't really like that. It's not really my personal journey. So a lot of the times I'll, <gasps> ow, I just broke my nail. My nails popped off. Anyways, um, I'll do it kind of like this or do a front tuck situation, something like that. And then these jeans, I'll give you guys a better close up of the jeans in the mirror, but these are the jeans, um, the high rise 90 straight curve love jeans. I love the curve love because my quads are a little bit bigger. Oh, also I'll have my measurements in the description box as well as like my weight and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, the curve love jeans are smaller at the waist and bigger in the thighs and the hips, which is oh, what we need. We need it. And so I love these jeans. I wear the heck out of these jeans. You can find them on sale. Uh, also, if you're not signed up for Abercrombie Rewards, you literally should before you take your next breath. It is really good. Like it's a really good program. Um, I got $30 off my order last time I ordered. And then the time before that, I think I got like 20s or something. Um, so if there's a sale going on, plus you get that, it's really good. Anyways, the, I love these t-shirts. I was gonna show you, I have another one here. This is like not really in any particular order, but I have another one here. This is the 49ers San Francisco t-shirt. They're incredibly soft. They're very soft t-shirts and they're just really high quality. I love them. I wear them all the time. You've probably seen me wear them and wear the men's crew neck sweatshirts. I have one right here that I'll show you guys. I had this on actually earlier. This is a crew neck and I get all the crew necks also in a size small. Um, they're already oversized and I find the same thing with the shirts. Like they're already oversized. So you can usually just order your same size but this is what it looks like you guys have seen me wear this i'm sure it is so comfortable i've washed this probably no joke 25 times since i bought it in i don't know january february something like that anyways it is amazing um it looks the exact same as when i bought it it feels amazing it doesn't ball up it's very just soft and good quality like i freaking love their clothes also let me mention, like I said, or maybe I didn't say, I don't know. I'm five nine. So I have ordered a tall in the jeans and I've ordered a regular in the jeans. Um, the regular, they vary. The length of them I find varies. I have one pair that like hits me right on my ankle and then these hit me a little bit below the ankle. And I like the fit of these a little bit better than my other ones, but I like the wash of my other ones, if that makes sense. But um, I feel like it's just touch and go. You have to figure out like what you like from there figure out your size and all that kind of stuff. And then you can just continue purchasing from there. The next thing that I have is this set. I live in sets. If you've ever watched my channel or um, I guess literally ever met me, um, I live in sets. If it's like 99% of the time I have outfits in my head and then I put them on, I'm like, mm, that's hideous. I'm not wearing that. 
And so I will put on a set. So this is again Abercrombie and this is the, what is this called? I don't know. I really don't know what this is called. But anyways, the, the fabric of this is so nice. It's not a very thick, I don't like a thick, like cotton, nasty feeling fabric that's in a um, shirt. It's not stretchy, but it almost feels stretchy, kind of like a polyester, but like really high quality um, material. I don't know. I literally love it. And then I got a small in this, and it already has the oversized fit, which I love. And you guys will see in the try on um, portion. And I love sets because you can mix and match them obviously it's not sold together but um i think it is so cute and i love the fit of this it's just that girl you know what i mean it's just that girl and then here are the shorts which actually one of my favorite things about these shorts is the cut of them um my nose is running they i got a small on these as well and the cut is kind of like a little bit higher on the outer portion of the leg and then lower down here so if you struggle with any inner thigh what i used to call extra skin you know what i mean um, it's going to cover that up, but then flatter the the outer part of your leg, which I just find incredibly flattering. Like, just the style of these is flattering, and they also have pockets. It kind of gives the pajama feel um, or vibe, but then it can obviously be classed up. I just think that this is so pretty, and then this does come in a few different colors. So, I'm going to be wearing this a ton in the spring and summer. It's also that material that the wrinkles fall out really easily, so it's not going to be something that you're, like, having to press every time or steam. I mean, you could steam it, but it's, they fall out pretty easily if you use that little, you know, the spray, you know, stuff. So. Okay, literally all of my hangers are janky, so it's not just so weird. Um, I have a bunch of cute little tops from Abercrombie. This one I got in a size extra small. A lot of the tops, if they're like this, I do get an extra small just because my um, upper body is pretty small and I don't have huge boobs. Um, but anyways, this hanger is so loud. I just thought this was really cute. I love the little detail on the shoulders, which you guys will be able to see. I think that it's really pretty. It's a nice cropped length. I mean, it's cropped, but it's a long crop. You know what I mean? And I also thought because it has a sweetheart neckline and a wider strap, if you do have bigger boobs and you want to wear a bra with this, but you don't want to wear a strapless bra, because honestly, who the heck does? Um, you can get away with it and it won't be like as noticeable or you won't be able to see your bra. So I love that. Moving along with more tops, a lot of the times I do deem myself as a genius because if I have one of the same thing or have multiple of the exact same thing, I'll just hang it on one hanger so they're all together. I know, crazy. Um, so I bought these bodysuits. Again, I bought all of these in extra small. My only issue with these is I am 5'9", and not only are my legs long, but my torso is long as well. And so if I button them, it does go up my butt crack. It does. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Um, a lot of times I won't button them, but then they kind of like ride up. So I'm kind of in a love-hate relationship with that. But if you're not enormously tall and don't have a huge torso, you probably won't have this issue. But I got the black, I got the white, and then I got the striped because I was like, that's such a vibe. But now I'm looking at it, I feel like this is navy. Navy and white, which is kind of disgusting to me. But navy and white is not my personal journey. Um, but we're going to pretend like it's a black and white because that's what I thought it was this whole time. Yeah, it's definitely navy. Okay, you're done. Okay, this next top I got is a little bit confusing until you see it on. Um, also, I don't know that I'm like fully in love with this color. I purchased, oh man, did I hang that up in my closet? I might have to go get that. I purchased literally like three or four things in this color because online it looked more of like a um, pink than in person. It's more like a lavender pink lilac sort of vibe. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, I love, this is just a hanger strap, so pay no, pay no mind to this. But I love this structure. I love asymmetrical structure um, in anything. I'm very into like architecture and fashion being together. Like that's why I love Jacquemus. Um, But anyways, I thought this was really pretty. I got this in a size extra small again. And I thought, throw this on with a cute pair of jeans. You're good to go. It's really adorable. Um, such a vibe, you know. So, pick this up. I wore this top in one of my videos. This one's actually in a small, but I wish I would have got an extra small. Any top that's a tank top, I, I wish I would have got an extra small in, but I, for some reason, bought a small. I don't know what, what I was on, but anyways. Um, now it's sold out, and I guess I'm just keeping this small. But I put this in a, or I wore this in a video, and you guys went crazy. I think that there's been like 70-something of these sold from the links. So that just shows, like, really people are living for this top. And if it's in stock, go ahead and pick it up. I will link some... Um, items similar to this 
but it is a really pretty color and then the top part is double lined so if you have smaller boobs or you don't want to wear a bra you don't have to and you should be good um or you could just wear like the little pasties and you'll definitely be good um because it is a thicker fabric but not thicker as in like make you sweat just like really high quality so i love that then we've got these tops again you know genius um this is definitely really hard to see what the heck is going on but it's this little you know it's this cute little twisty top um so it will twist around your neck and then i got an extra small and nope just lying I'm, i mean i'm just kidding i'm lying um i got a small in both of these i got it in the tan color and then also this pink color as well which you guys will see and i just thought they were really pretty nice little throw on tops wear with a pair of jeans wear with a pair of shorts wear with a pair of whatever the heck you want and it's cute and it's elevating your outfit but it's not crazy you know what i mean okay next two things i got these shorts i got these in a small i think i could have gone an extra small on these look at my walmart hangers um these are just a nice cute little pair of linen shorts i was unaware that they were linen whenever i purchased them to be fully honest with you um but nevertheless they are linen and i was like you know what i'll wear those the front is like a nice almost looks like a trouser sort of vibe and in the back you do have that elastic um backing and then they have pockets and then yeah that's pretty much it there's just a nice little pair of shorts that kind of dresses up your outfit rather than just wearing denim shorts or something like that so again purchase that in two colors you guys will probably have seen a trend if i like something if i think i'll wear it a lot i'm going to purchase it in multiple colors and have those basics to stick to in my wardrobe um, I picked up this because honestly, I was like, that's the perfect little spring summer sweater. Like whenever it's still cooler, it's a cooler not. Like today it's 60 something degrees. So this would be a really nice thing to throw on, you know, with a pair of shorts or um, even denim. And I just th thought this was so pretty. It's a size small. It has this nice little V-neck, but it's not too low. It's definitely wearable. And I love anything collared. I've been very into collars this season and, and last fall winter season. Um, it's a little nice cropped vibe but not cropped in like a why is she wearing a cropped like nice sweater sort of way and then it's got the split right here i find that it hits at a very flattering place the quality the texture is really nice it does have like the see-through or not really see-through but it's you know cable knit so you can see a little bit through it so be wary of that whenever you're picking out your um bra but it's not like oh my gosh you can see through her sweater sort of thing I also picked this up. This is from the men's section, but I've been very into cardigans, like wearing cardigans as shirts. And I wore this the other day, um, actually to my dentist appointment, and it's so comfortable. The inside is like a Sherpa, but this is the small. It's the men's small, like I said. Um, and it's, I just thought it was cute. Like, just throw this on with a pair of jeans, throw it on with a pair of sneakers. You're good to go. Cute little outfit. Um, you obviously can wear it as a cardigan if you're that's your personal journey. It's not mine. Um, yeah, it's cute. Okay, I've returned. Um, this bodysuit back here has nothing to do with anything. It's not even from Abercrombie, but I'm not gonna take these off the hanger right now. Uh, these are the actual tops that I was, that I linked, um, that you all loved. They are so cute, they have the snap closure, so if you wanna do this all the way at the top, top and then have this little, a little peekaboo moment, then you totally can. And then I got the, in the black color, and then also this like dusty pink. I feel like dusty pink is the actual correct shade name of this. I got both of these in a small, and I wish that I would have got an extra small, um, but you live and you learn. You know what I mean? You live and you learn, and you die. The last two items of business, no, three items of business. If you don't listen to me at all, this whole video, which, rude, um, but if you don't, listen to me about these shorts and listen to me about this bra and all this, all these shoes that I'm about to show you. These shorts I bought in this color, which is not really my favorite color, to be honest with you, but um, Courtney Shields on Instagram had talked about these shorts. I loved them. And I was like, I will wear those every single day of my life. They're very much so me. They're the softest, best length of sweat shorts in the world. This with a cute bodysuit, throw on an open button up um, over top of everything, throw on a cute pair of slides, a pair of sneakers, something like that. It's absolutely adorable. Dresses up a really casual outfit, but it's also really comfortable. And then if you're like, oh, I want to be like cute, adorable, fun, schmexy sort of vibes, do the rollover band. And then it's got actually a really nice um what is this called like a tie what is wrong with me um and then it's like it's just adorable you know what i mean so i bought it i bought them in this color i bought them in white and then i bought two of the gray pairs because i know i'll wear the gray all the time they're both in the dirty laundry if that tells you anything um so yeah i do love these live for them they are life-changing thank you very much 
Then we have this bra. I talked about this bra in one of my videos and then I went and bought it in all the colors that they have. They have white with black, black with white, and then gray with white. And if they come out with more colors, I will be purchasing them. This is the comfiest sports bra I've ever put on my body. For reference, for um, size, I wear a 32D in bras. But I mean, like, they're pretty perky, you know, so I don't really have to worry about them flopping unless I'm doing cardio. And if I'm doing cardio, I'm not going to be wearing this kind of bra. But as far as loungewear goes, this is phenomenal. The comfiest bra I've ever had in my life. The outer portion is a ribbed material, but then the inside is a very, very soft, I don't even know, heavenly, very much so gives skims vibes. And so I was like, mm, you're coming home with me. I bought it immediately. And then I said, I'll have it in two more colors. So I have three of these. And yeah, like I said, if they come out with more, I will buy more. It's not super supportive. I would say it's very low support yoga, Pilates, leg day, because you're not really going to be jump jumping a whole lot. Um, sort of vibes. I love the square neck and the racer back. It's incredibly flattering and just adorable. I have a ton of Abercrombie jeans, so I'm not going to like show you all of my 900 pairs of jeans, but I will show you um, some of the new ones I got. I think that you guys will like, and then I can link below um, some others. So obviously I have these on. They have uh, I actually ripped these more than what they're supposed to be ripped. So if you want to do that, you can. I didn't do it on purpose. I was just stepping and they ripped. You know what I mean? So that's that. But every time I wear these jeans, people are like, where are those from? And I'm like, Abercrombie. But you'll need to have a bigger quad and rip them for them to look like this. This pair I got in a long, I get all of my jeans in a size 27 as long as they're the Curve Love jeans. If they're the dad jeans, I do go down a size. Oh my gosh, my denim shorts are in there on the floor. I forgot all about them. I'll go get those. I have so much stuff. Um, anyway, love these jeans. Think they're so adorable. These are a long, so I believe they have a 32, 31, 32 inch inseam. Um, and then they have the cross button up here, which I thought was a really nice style. But looking back, I'm like, yes, these are a really nice pair of jeans, but to pay $100 for a pair of jeans that have something like this, like it was just kind of like, why did I do that? You know what I mean? Like, why didn't I just get like a, another regular pair of jeans in a, in a, longer length but the other ones I got are very similar and they just have a split hem so I will wear those a lot I will link the split hem ones below they are pretty much this exact same wash they're a straight leg no holes no ribs anything like that and they just have the split hem at the bottom so before I show you the um shorts that are in there I want to show you guys these shoes Abercrombie has very high quality amazing products obviously but I love their shoes and I was like I will wear these because they are like a two yeah, they're a two inch heel um, and they're just the cutest. And I find that they run true to size. I wear women's size 10 or a 10 and a half, but I got a 10 in these and they fit me perfectly. Usually I can go half size down in heels because they're heels, not tennis shoes. Like your toes can hang, not hang over, but you know what I mean. Um, anyways, these go with absolutely everything and they elevate everything. And a lot of the shoes that I have like this, I have some from Nasty Gal. I have some just like from TJ Maxx and stuff. They're so slick on the bottoms. And whenever I'm going into a restaurant, it always makes me nervous because I never know if the floor is going to be slick. And a lot of the times it is. And I'm like, I'm going to bust my butt. And like, I have to walk a certain walk. You know the walk. And it's not my journey. Like, I don't want to do that. These have the most grippy bottom. We went to eat in Knoxville the other day. And literally, I was fine. I was standing right up, rubberized on the floor. Um, but I love these. These are so cute. They do go with everything. They elevate an outfit. Wear these with a cute pair of shorts and a bodysuit you're good to go. And you're like, mm, fancy girl, you know, let me go get the shorts. I forgot about them. Okay. So these are the pair of shorts that I got. These are the, um, the dad, the dad short high rise. And I got these in a two because I ordered them in a four and, um, they were much too big. They were much, much, much too big. And honestly, these twos are pretty big. So size down in the dad short for sure. For sure, size down in the dad short um, or the dad pants. Like anything dad related is, is going to fit you larger. It's like literally wearing your dad's clothes, you know. Um, so anyways, these are the cross button shorts. They're very cute, very flattering. I love them. But like I said, just size down and they still do fit me loosely, which you guys will see. So I got these and then I got the dad short um, high rise curve love. And these, I believe, have a seven inch or so the seven inch shorts. I could be lying, though. Um, and I accidentally ordered these. I did not mean to order these, but I like them. So it worked out well for me. Um, so you guys will see these and I love them. They're very cute. That's all the Abercrombie stuff that I have. I do realize I shop at Abercrombie a lot. I love their clothes. I think they're very flattering. They're very nice quality, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera.
Let's move on to Aritzia. This is the first, these are all the first items I've ever purchased from Aritzia. Never shopped there in my life. Didn't know about, I mean, I knew about Aritzia, but I was like, I'm not shopping there. And I went to their store in Nashville. It was incredibly overwhelming. Didn't buy anything. Was amazed at the prices, how expensive it was. Um, but a lot of these items are just such high quality. So, first up, we have this Babaton top. This is from Aritzia, obviously, but this is the brand Abit Babaton. And this is a sculpt knit cross top. And obviously, like, it'll be linked down below. But I got the long version, not the cropped version. The long version. And it's still cropped on me. So, this is kind of what it would look like on. I got a small, as you can see. It's just a beautiful top. Really pretty color. Um, love the fit of it. Very, very flattering. Love it for summertime. Wear it with your hair up. Um, wear it with your hair down. I don't care how you wear your hair. It's going to be beautiful either way. You know what I mean? Stunning. Stunning top. 10 out of 10. It is expensive, but the quality of the material is just out of this world. The same work. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just, look at that. Look at that. They give you extra thread in case anything happens. You pay for what you get. Okay. You pay for what you get. So in true Katie Fawn fashion, what did I do? I bought it in two colors. This is the specifically um, Epicurean, Epicurean Brown, um, again, in a small, and what I love about these, you don't have to wear a bra with them either. I don't like wearing bras. They bind me up. They squish my boobs. I don't like it. I got this top, which is a very, um, it's from Babaton as well, and it is, by the way, if you don't know, Babaton is a brand that they carry on Aritzia, or at Aritzia. I don't know if it's Aritzia's brand, but you know what I mean. Um, I got this in a size small. I love the way this fits. I love that it has longer um, sleeves. I think a longer sleeve is so chic rather than just like sitting here, like being a boring sleeve. When it's longer, it's like she's a little bit mysterious. She smells so nice, you know, like those sort of vibes. And this material is so stretchy and just like a slinky kind of material. And so my thought process whenever I saw this, I was like, oh, that'd be so cute. Buttoned up and then the bottom left a little bit unbuttoned, you know, like not a cropped, like let's show my belly, but just like around your hips, very flattering pretty shirt. Love that. Then I picked up these two items. I actually purchased two of these of the same color on accident. Don't really know how I did that, but looking back at the price tag, I should have noticed. Um, but anyways, this is the, I don't know what top, Alaska top. Um, again, in that brown shade and it has adjustable straps, which I love because they're tiny straps. So you don't want it to like pull off, which I mean, I don't think it will, but you get what I'm saying. Um, just really flattering, just like a really pretty throw on. Everybody loves a little, it's not really square neck, but it's, I don't know. It's like sort of that vibe. It's just really pretty. Okay. Like it's just a really pretty top. And I was like, I'll wear that every day until I'm dead. So I got that color and then I bought it in green as well, because you all know that I'm a green girl. And so I thought this would be really pretty and I love it. I picked up these two tops and I already have four more in my car because as soon as I felt them, I said, you're the best shirt I've ever felt. So I got it in this color. This is the Babaton tee, but this is the Babaton new everyday tee. And I got these in a size small. It is the softy, softiest, excuse me, I cut John. It is the softest um, feeling shirt, but it's very high quality, stretchy, very much so like the nicest pajamas you own. Definitely designer pajamas. You're so rich. On Christmas morning, you descend a stair staircase. It's like ridiculously long. And your decorators decorated it. And you're just like in the nicest quality items. But you don't even look at that like that they're the nicest quality anymore. Because you're just like, you just assume that it is because you know that it is. And you've lived that lifestyle for so long. That gives these sort of vibes. And these are only $35. Which you might be like, oh my gosh, $35 for a t-shirt. Think about your t-shirts. Do you wear your t-shirts all the time? If you don't, probably don't invest in it. But if you do, it's going to be a good investment. And they have a thousand and ten different colors. Not really, but they have a lot. Um, and then I got it in this brown color as well. I'm so dumb. I think I purchased this color again. And that's really like a brown tea. Anyways, um, yeah, good shirt. I wanted a pair of biker shorts that were longer than my Lululemon ones. So I picked these up from TNA. This is the TNA Butter. They do feel like just like Lululemon. That's suspicious. Anyways, this is the Butter High Rise 7 inch short, and these were only $38 as opposed to the 58 or 68 or however the heck expensive they are from Lord Lord Lawn. Then I picked up 
this I'd seen this everywhere and then I was like I don't know that I like that and then I was just like mm, just kidding I'm 5'9 that would be really cute on me so this is the um, romper this is the TNA butter Lella five inch romper this is what she looks like I don't know if we're gonna keep her I haven't tried her on yet but we'll we'll see in the try on but it's very soft and it has adjustable straps too and I was like that could be a vibe you know this however she'll be kept this was expensive this is the Wilfred, the brand Wilfred, free divinity um, jump suit, or as my dad calls them, jumping suits. You know the movie Trolls. If you've seen the movie Trolls, she's like, they're telling her that they'll make her a jumpsuit, and she's like, and a jumping suit and hair won't help me. He quoted the whole movie to me. It was funny. Anyways, um, this is really pretty, but I do. I'm gonna be fully honest with you. I think that it to pull it off, you have to ver have a very certain body type. And I'm not sure if my legs are a little too thickums. I think you need to be a very long, slender person to pull this off. And I'm pretty long and slender, but my legs are a little thickums, you know. Um, and it's also not as long as I would like for a girl who is 5'9". But we'll see. We'll see if we can make it work. Um, yeah. Okay, those are all the items that I have from Ritzy and Abercrombie. I hope that you guys love this haul. If you did, please let me know if you, if you like these sort of videos. I can continue to do them. Um, I love clothes. If you guys saw how much clothes that I had, you would be disgusted with me. You would want to throat punch me. That's just the truth. Anyways, I liked filming this. I hope that the lighting is not too jank. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know in the comments below and also like and subscribe before you leave. As always, all the information will be linked in the description box below for you guys so that you can click them, shop them, buy all these things. Let me know. Let me know. Other than that, I hope you have a fabulous day. And remember, Every day above ground is a great day. Remember that.